Dolgava or Western Dvina, Belarusian, is a large river rising in the Valdai Hills of Russia that flows through Belarus then Latvia into the Gulf of Riga of the Baltic Sea. It rises close to the source of the Volga. Its length is 1,020 km, of which 325 km are in Russia. It is a westward-flowing river, tracing out a great curve towards its south which means it passes through northern Belarus. Latvia's capital, Riga bridges the estuary four times, lying on both banks, the city centre being 15 km from the mouth and being a significant port. The total catchment area of the river is 87,900 square kilometers, 33,150 square kilometers of which are within Belarus. The following rivers are tributaries to the river Dolgava, Dolgava flowing through Riga and Latvia according to Max Vasmer's etymological dictionary. The toponym Divina clearly cannot stem from a Uralic language, and it possibly comes from an Indo-European word which used to mean river or stream. Port of Riga on the Dolgava River The river began experiencing environmental deterioration in the era of Soviet collective agriculture and a wave of hydroelectric power projects. Andrepol, Zapadnia Divina, and Velizh. Ruba, Vitsyevsk, Bishankovishi, Politsk with Boris stones strewn in the vicinity, Novopolotsk, Gisna, Verknadvinsk, and Druya. Kroslova, Daugav Pils, Levon, Jakob Pils, Plavinius, Iskrauk, Yanulgava, Lielorda, Kegums, Ogre, Hikskula, Salaspils, and Riga. Dolgava Sunset in Riga. The Swedish army bombarding the fortress of Dolgograva at the Dolgava's estuary in Latvia. Humans have settled at the mouth of the Dolgava and around the other shores of the Gulf of Riga for millennia, initially participating in a hunter-gatherer economy and utilizing the waters of the Dolgava estuary as fishing and gathering areas for aquatic biota. Beginning around the 6th century AD, Viking explorers crossed the Baltic Sea and entered the Dolgava River, navigating upriver into the Baltic interior. In medieval times the Dolgava was an important area of trading and navigation, part of the trade route from the Varangians to the Greeks, for transport of furs from the north and of Byzantine silver from the south. The Riga area, inhabited by the Finnic-speaking Livs, became a key element of settlement and defense of the mouth of the Dolgava at least as early as the Middle Ages. As evidenced by the now-destroyed fort at Tornaglans on the west bank of the Dolgava at present-day Riga. Since the late Middle Ages the western part of the Dolgava basin has come under the rule of various peoples and states, for example the Latvian town of Daugav Pils, located on the western Dolgava. Variously came under papal rule as well as Slavonic, Polish, German and Russian sway until restoration of the Latvian independence in 1990 at the end of the Cold War. Upstream of the Latvian town of Jakobpils the pH has a characteristic value of about 7. 8, and this reach the calcium ion has a typical concentration of around 43 mg per liter, nitrate has a concentration of about 0. 82 mg per liter, phosphate ion is measured at 0. 038 mg per liter, and oxygen saturation was measured at 80%. The high nitrate and phosphate load of the Dolgava is instrumental to the buildup of extensive phytoplankton biomass in the Baltic Sea. Other European rivers contributing to such high nutrient loading of the Baltic are the Oder and Vistula rivers. In Belarus, water pollution of the Dolgava is considered moderately severe, with the chief sources being treated wastewater, fish farming, and agricultural chemical runoff. Thanks for watching.